Hey there, so today we have another review and this is from uh, Freigeist Beer Culture. Uh, this is a Salzbeeker and this is a gypsy brewery from Germany and actually known for some pretty interesting beers. Uh, Germany we obviously associate with the Rhein Heinske boat. Uh, this is an interesting one. This is a raspberry sour porter made with raspberry juice and lime. Uh, sorry, salt. Raspberry juice and salt. So sour, dark beer. Raspberry salt. Um, this is, I guess, like very few of the. There is a craft culture in Germany. Very few, few breweries are doing it, and I guess this is one of the ones that actually comes to America. So uh, the beer is actually quite dark. Uh, comes out kind of porter color. Has a little bit of like brownish hue uh, in the light. It's pretty much like a medium to deep brown kind of color to it. Um, yeah, let's get the aroma on this one. Oh, that's weird. Oh yeah. I mean, I can pick up that it's a sour. I mm -hmm. can smell the raspberry. I'll also get a tent, like not smoke, but I guess the roasted qualities come mm. in. Um, has a raspberry jamminess for sure. The juice comes in a little bit of the roasted quality. Mostly that. Yeah. yeah, like a nice not seedy raspberry. Seedy jam. raspberry, a lot of seedy, uh, jamminess. Um, not that dark of a beer uh, on the nose. Maybe a touch of that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Full blind in a black glass, you might not be able to guess that this was a dark beer. Like if you couldn't see it. You just smell sour. I'm so excited for this one. Cheers. <laughs> oh, weird. Yeah. So you sort of taste it. Carbonation is very low. Yeah, it starts out like a nice raspberry. I mean, like, well, not. I mean, it's like really strong raspberry and then and then it finishes. And you can definitely taste like the, the dark beer porter quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for some reason, it's, it's almost smoky. Mm -hmm. So that's either from uh, maybe an addition of smoke malt. Uh, probably not from rosa malt. It must, might just be a little bit of the uh, fermentation. Um, mm -hmm. Can offer a little bit of that kind of smoky canola thing. Um, can I get some um, dark chocolate or even yeah. cocoa nib on the back? Yeah, absolutely. Very good. Like a chocolate biscuit with a little spread of a light spread of uh, raspberry jam on there. Um, not that tart actually. So it's mostly a porter that is slightly tart. You smell it on the nose, less so on the palate, and then a little bit of that raspberry tartness. So that actually plays quite well. Yeah, I, it doesn't taste as sour as it smelled. Yeah. And then as you wait more, there's more of that raspberry skin and black, uh, mm -hmm. raspberry um, seed uh, on the palate. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely low carb, I, ra I, raspberry seed. Yeah. Um, I, I would like a little bit more carb on it. I don't really get much salt. I like low carb. Yeah. So, so what do you think about the um, general or uh, final impressions and uh, rating on this one? I actually would recommend this one. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is it's it's like a really interesting. I mean, it's a raspberry Seems like sour something American porter. Craft yeah, we do not a German, but yeah, you know, obviously there are craft brewers and they're doing interesting, different things to German beer. So yeah, German no, beer, so. I definitely enjoy it. I mean, this isn't uh, this isn't actually as offensive as I was anticipating it would be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think overall, I would probably give this actually a pretty high rating because it is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice um. Almost like a dessert beer. Yeah. Definitely a dessert beer. Um, I would go with... No, no, no. I'd say 95. I actually really like it. Okay. Um, for me, this is more tame. I don't know how old this bottle is, so uh, generally I perceive if this was a uh, German cra uh, American craft brewery, it would be more sour. It might have a little bit more roast of the porter coming in. Uh, maybe the salt would be a little bit more obvious, but being a German brewery, I mean, it just... You know, European brewing, you're going to be a little bit more subtle and a little bit more dainty with how you uh, play your flavors. And it's good. It makes uh, for a great complexity to the beer instead of just like punch you in the head. Like you can imagine this beer being sour, punch in the face of raspberry, raspberry punch you in the face of the porter. All the flavors are super prominent. And uh, instead, there's a lot of subtlety uh, driving in this one. So um, as for rating, I do like interesting beers. It's well executed. Yeah, this is definitely like one like for someone who's like just getting into sours and maybe doesn't want to like this, doesn't, I would not even say enjoy, this is sour to them. Like, right, or like doesn't enjoy like specifically sour beers. If you like fun flavors and getting into craft beer, this would be a fun one. Yeah. Uh, let's go with a 91 on this one. So this is uh, Freitgeist. This is Salzbeek. Uh, let me know if you guys have had beers from Freitgeist. Um, they certainly are around. They do uh, one of the most uh, famous beers is a Braxis, not perennial, but a Braxis is a Lichtenheimer, which is a uh, smoked wheat beer. Uh, so pretty interesting. Uh, maybe we'll find some more bottles in the future. Fun brewing. Until next time, guys. Cheers. This is Darwin. This is Katie. Later. Well, this is, this is Darwin. Or this is Katie. This is Darwin. Whatever. Cheers, guys. <laughs>